After seven hours of travelling, we arrived at Fitzroy Island to the beautiful Queensland weather. One hour before sunset, the rain cleared, allowing me to climb to the summit and take in the view. The following morning, I headed out to walk the circuit. First to the summit. Then on to the lighthouse. This is the most unusual lighthouse I have ever seen. It's covered in bathroom tiles. After a quick chat with some of the locals, I spotted a beautiful scene. My first photograph on my trip away up in the Cairns area, I'm on Fitzroy Island. My subject is that tree you can see there with all the vines growing on it and they have huge leaves on them and they look really nice with the sun rays bursting through. Finally we get some sun up here. Uh, my foreground is all this soft ferns, they're a bluey green colour. Really interesting. I just thought it might be a nice shot. Looks really nice. I've been waiting for the wind to die down, finally has, you can take a shot. Two second timer, get rid of the camera shake. Lit up beautifully. So that's it for this photograph. I have another one in mind, but the tourists are up there at the minute. I'll have to wait for later on in the day to get it. So, fingers crossed. I've taken my second image for the day, and that is a seascape. I've been chased off by the tourists. I'm up here, hidden around the corner. Now I have one more shot that I may get. May, that's very slim. The sun is setting down in between a saddle that's over there. You've got two mountain ranges on the mainland. I'm hoping that the clouds break up more than they are. Every now and then they do. And I might get some sort of nice colors in the sky, some sort of sunset. I'll get these dark mountains maybe with a little bit of low cloud on them that I've seen most of the day. Hopefully it's not, they're not too hazy. Uh, I don't want the ocean involved in it. it. it yeah, it just won't look any good, I don't think. But maybe, maybe it might. There might be some magic happen with the light shining on the water. But it's a lot of ifs. And that is all I'm going to say about this scene. Might get it tonight. Yeah, I may talk to you then, but otherwise, we're out of here tomorrow and off up into the mountains, the other side of Cairns, that's Calandra. Hi and welcome to Karandra, up in the mountains above Cairns. It's dark and dim, it's so cloudy, but every now and then the sun comes out. Now, at the back of the caravan park that I'm staying in, walk down the track, cross the train tracks, down a very, very steep embankment, covered in plant life, lots of vines and stuff like that. So I managed to get down to the Barwon River. I wanted somewhere where nobody else is going to go. No one disturbed me, no tourists. Nice little quiet spot, and that's exactly what I've gotten here. 
So the river's just over there, the main river. This is a backwash, which is made like a billabong type place, and there's fish jumping everywhere. And I just plonked myself down for a few seconds. Thought, there it is, there's my shot. Landscape versus wildlife. Finally, I get a reasonable shot. It's not an outstanding shot. It's a good shot, though. It's a keeper. Nice reflections in the water. That'll it'll be a good one. Anyway, I waited for him to jump again. I was hoping, you know, when he went to fly, that I would get a shaft of light. But I was also hoping at that, with that shaft of light, that he'd come down and try and catch one of the fish that are jumping in this backwash here. But it didn't. He flew off. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say for today, I think. Although I will mention my Lopro Whistler bag. Man, I have never had a bag that is so well balanced. Climbing up and down these steep cliffs here. <laughs> Call them a cliff. And on the hikes I've done it so far over at uh, Fitzroy Island, you don't get the bag pulling you backwards like I've had with every other bag. I'm loving this bag. It is so balanced, it so sits on your back so nice. Mate, I'll catch up with you later. I'll try and find some more locations as well as this one. This will be my morning one though. I'm hoping to go for walks into more rain forested areas. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a track that suited my needs, but I did get my first photograph of a kingfisher along the Barren River. The sun is setting on Port Douglas. I'm only a few minutes walk from my accommodation. I've come around the side here and hidden away from all the tourists, got it all to myself. There is a Chinese junk out there somewhere, <laughs> can't see. Doing the same as me, I guess. They're going out for the sunset, watch it go down. Uh, beautiful scenery across here. But my subject is over there. That log that's just in front of me, the driftwood is pointing the way to the mountain range in the background. It's got all those nice whispery clouds there, but they're changing every couple of minutes. It keeps changing. It was looking really nice before the way the clouds were set up across it, but <clears throat> starting to break up a bit now and not look as quite as nice. But things just keep changing. Maybe it'll get better and better as time goes by. All right. My setup is 7D Mark II on a tripod. Now you can see me in the light. I have zoom lens on, the 70 to 300 millimetre L lens on to cut down all the crap in front of me. I want to keep it simple, very simple. Uh, so I'm cutting out that big piece of driftwood there. It's just the rocks in front of me. They sort of point towards it. I wanted leading lines. I've been up and down this coastline looking for the right rock formation. Something of interest in the foreground, that beautiful mountain range in the background. I just couldn't get the right setup. So I've settled for this. Fingers crossed, everything goes all right. If it doesn't, I'll come back in the morning and try and get the sun rising. It may throw a lot of color onto it. We'll see. The color and the light didn't eventuate but I did get a nice sunrise the following morning. Then I moved on to a new location. Well, good morning, and it certainly is. We had a reasonable sunrise. There was a little bit of color in the sky, but unfortunately I couldn't get to this location that I'm at. I'm taking a shot of this beautiful little mangrove tree here in, the, in a little bit of a pond as the tide's gone out. So yesterday I came here and discovered it by accident because I was supposed to go to a different location up on top of the hill there. There, it is, there is a three hour walk, a torturous walk up steep terrain, but they tell me it's worth the climb. But as I was driving along, I missed a turn off, didn't see it, thought maybe I'd been driving a bit too long, I might 
pull over and uh, see if I can turn around. There was a little parking bay up here. There was two cars there. I was a little bit suspicious about why there would be two cars parked there in the middle of nowhere. Maybe there might be a track leading to the beach through the mangroves. And there was, to my surprise. I start walking through and I think, oh wow, this is amazing. There's opportunities everywhere for some great photography. Uh, there was uh, some tracks of people walking, had been walking through, but I couldn't follow them any further. They went through a deep, almost like a creek. It's a backwash of the, as the tide goes out, but it looks like a creek. And I couldn't tell how deep it was. I had my backpack on. I thought, no, I'm not doing that. So I continued walking around the outside and f came across a guy called Wayne, who is now about a mile up the beach that way this morning. He showed me the way. He said, go across, blah, blah, blah and uh, you'll find an opening and uh, you'll get through. But there's a point back up that way, and you can see, and you can hear the cars, the highway. So I went up there and I took a shot of the sun rising, a little bit of colour, scenes, yeah, probably a little boring. <laughs> it's probably not all that good. But anyway, I took a shot. I thought I'd wait out for the tide to go down, but then I saw uh, Wayne's car pull up. The tide was up, too high, and I started wandering through the water and all of a sudden Wayne popped his little head up <laughs> and helped me out again. So thank you, Wayne. Uh, he said, yeah, don't linger in the water there, mate. <laughs> there are crocs here. So he guided me across and here I am, but it's far too late for the sunrise, unfortunately. But I have taken some good, reasonable shots. I love this pastely gray color that you're getting. It's very subdued, very calming. Have had nice clouds coming across, they're gone now. The birds I've been watching out, coming up close to me yesterday, I couldn't get anywhere near them, 30 metres away, far too far. There's a few hanging around here now, and more turning up, so I'm gonna sign off and out and take some photographs of them. Another beautiful day in paradise. My third day in Port Douglas is certainly my favourite out of all the destinations we've been to. Now I'm back on the mangrove flats. I couldn't get in to the way Wayne showed me yesterday because the tide's up high. So I wasn't going to risk wading through and uh, getting eaten by a crocodile or getting my gear all wet. So I chose to hack through the scrub. Made a trail so that I can find my way back. So just with my foot, marking the ground, see? Making arrows. So the soil's exposed to the sand, making it obvious which way I'm going. And I'm doing them every four meters to make sure I can see them all the time, so four metres or less. Now I have to be careful of cassowaries in here. I've seen the tracks. They're extremely dangerous. They just come flying at you out of scrub. And you just, you don't get any time to react. Far worse than a crocodile, I reckon. Yeah, I do these things because I'm an adventurer. I love going on adventures. And I love this spot because Lots of opportunities for landscape shots. And there's a hell of a lot of birds here. Ones I've never seen before. Uh, tiny little birds, lots of them around, but trying to get a photograph of them is really hard because they won't let you come up close. It's got to be the right spot at the right time. So what I'm going to do today is just wander up and down the beach, see if I can get a shot of a kingfisher as well as three breeding pairs that I saw yesterday here. So that's what I'm hoping to get, as well as these other little fantastically colored little birds. Fingers crossed, see how I go. But at the minute, I'm just chilling out because that walk through the scrub was a toughie, absolutely sweating like mad and I'm hot. 
I'll just chill out for a minute. Get in the zone. Start hunting for some good photographs. Welcome to my beautiful office and I'm being serenaded by a spotted pardalote at the minute. It's looking for a spot to build its nest in the bank of the uh, creek here. Alright, so it's time to rate my trip away. Marking each one individually as a combined score with my wife. So when we go away on holidays, we choose a destination that suits us both. And I'm sure that's how you do it as well. So for me, photography, being able to walk out of my accommodation and not having to drive, just simply walk for a little bit, get into the scrub or onto the beach and be able to photograph and film wildlife in private without worrying about tourists. And for my wife, it's having a beautiful balcony where she can sit and read her book and then walk a short distance to the beach and do the same thing. And then being able to wander around the place, down the main street and have a look at all the shops. So it's going to be a combined score that suits the both of us and also the accommodation will be rated in that as well. So I'll be scoring them each destination out of 10 as a combined experience. First off was Fitzroy Island. Fitzroy Island gets a rating of 5 out of 10. We marked it down for the lack of sand on the beaches. It's mainly dead coral. It's not nice to walk on and it isn't nice to sit on. The building maintenance, some things haven't been fixed in years. The food was good but there was a lack of choice on the menu. My photography experience was low because most of the wildlife was close to the accommodation, making it hard for me to photograph anything with lots of tourists around. Karanda gets a rating of four out of 10. Our accommodation experience was not very good and the townspeople aren't all that welcoming. As far as photography goes, it wasn't a great experience for me, but I did take my favourite shot of the trip there and that was of this pelican flying into a beautiful ray of light. Port Douglas gets a rating of 6 out of 10, by far our favourite destination. Easy access to the beach, shops and abundance of food choices from takeaways to restaurants. Lots of shops to walk through and the Saturday market is well worth a look. But unfortunately for photography I had to drive to different locations to get any photographs of wildlife. So I've marked it down from seven to six. Well, that's the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed me going on holidays and seeing what it's like around the place. Sorry, I didn't do as much filming, B-roll, and showing a lot more of the place than I should have done. I just enjoying being on holidays and uh, I just, couldn't be bothered uh, doing all that stuff. Maybe next time. All right, that's all I've got for you. So if you'd like to subscribe, click on the subscription button down below and hit the little bell and you'll, you'll get notification whenever I do anything else. And if you'd like to have a look at all the crazy things I've been doing in the past, click on my icon down below, take it to my channel. Um, huge amount of stuff there. There might be something there of interest to you. I talk about photography stuff. Uh, you know, birds in flight flash photography and a whole host of other things. So go and have a browse. Yeah, there might be something there that interests you. Now just remember, if you don't do, you don't get. So get out there and start photographing and filming wildlife and I'll catch you on the next one. So yeah, have a look at the boats you can see around here. 
It's like an old Chinese, um, I can't remember what they call them.